Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to the Disney World vlog. We are starting off on day two. Day one was simply traveling, us getting checked into the Airbnb, buying all of our food and supplies, that sort of thing. But now we are in our rental car. You can see Lily over there in the back. Hello, Lily. And behind me is William, and we're getting ready to go to Magic Kingdom for the first time. Caleb just had to run in to go get his sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all worth it. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> Magic Kingdom is probably my number one place on the list. We did get park hopper passes for four days, so we're gonna try to go everywhere and see everything. We're meeting my family. They are staying at the Give Kids the World Resort, so we're staying in two different spots, but they're on their way now, and we're on our way now, so hopefully we meet up at the same time. I'm very excited. For those of y'all who don't know or haven't watched any of the Royalty Soaps videos, going to Disney World has been something that I have looked forward to doing since I was like seven years old. My parents have always said they wanted to take my family and of course as our family grew and grew and grew and grew and again for those who don't know there are ten of us kids like I am the oldest of ten. Um, it just became a little more out of reach for us so the fact that Make-A-Wish Foundation and Give Kids the World were able to send my entire family there is just amazing and I'm really happy that Caleb and I were able to like tag along on their coattails. We did have to pay our own way though which is why we're staying in an Airbnb and they're staying at Give Kids the World but we are still able to go over to the Give Kids the World place. We have arrived. We are in Magic Kingdom now. We're walking past the iconic Disney castle. It's so intricate and beautiful. Kenny's here with me. Amazing. Yes, in his very classic vacation clothes. Hey dad, you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Here's Cutie Boy's outfit. He's been so good. He's got sunscreen on. Hey little fella. What you see? So it's 3 p.m. so they're doing their big parade down the strip area and Kenny's got Lily on his shoulders and it's so cute. One of the other things that I've always wanted to see is the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse and we made it. It is just as awesome in real life as I thought it was gonna be. This is crazy, look at that. It's their living room and the, that's right, that they played for Christmas. Look at that tiny bed. The boys room. Where's the monkey? The kitchen. Wow. That's so crazy. Don't you want to sit there and have your lunch? You My lunch? Time? I want to sit there and have their lunch. <laughs>
We are now at the pool that the Airbnb has to offer us. There's a pool and a little splash pad and a playground and some tennis courts. It's really, really nice. So Caleb is over there in the pool with Lily for the very first time and I'm sitting here with Will while he sleeps in his car seat. I feel like such a real mom now. Like, oh no, husband, you take the children to swim while I sit on one of these lounge things. <laughs> Kenny just texted me not that long ago and said that they are having an absolutely wonderful time at the Orlando Studios so they're actually gonna end up staying there probably till it closes like really late at night so Caleb and I will splash around have some fun with the kids and then maybe either go get something to eat or make something back at the Airbnb that we're staying at I love Florida so much Look at all the foliage. Also, for my ladies, I am five weeks postpartum whenever we have gone on this trip, so I'm not even allowed to like start working out or exercising yet. So mom bod is in full swing, and I had to find a swimsuit that was gonna accommodate me on this trip during this time of my life. And I have to say, I think I found a winner for every body type, whether you're thinner or a little thicker, a little more curvy. I got this swimsuit and it is so flattering. It's the Esther Williams swimsuit from Unique Vintage. It looks like this. Got the little cherry bits and it has this ruching in the front that kind of hides any little bit of extra mom bod, little mom tummy you got going there. And it really just accentuates the good parts and sort of just conceals and dumbs down maybe the parts you don't want accentuated. I got it on sale and it was about 35 to $40, I want to say, and it's halter top so you can adjust it like if you like it up a little higher like I do to conceal everything. So I'll leave you guys a link to this down below because it really is like, a, just a wonderful postpartum swimsuit for like this quickly postpartum. Oh, little fella. He's still so, so tiny in his little car seat. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at those little cheekies. I love it when he smiles in his sleep. Time to eat. That sucker is so good. Caleb, what did you get? What is that? It's a passion fruit juice. Oh, and it's frozen and it is delicious. Yes, it yeah. sure is. Yeah, a cup. We have your cup. You have done a beautiful job with that paper. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and that's the happy cold <laughs> so that was really quite good. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, mine was really delicious. Like those black beans were delightful. So if you're in Orlando and looking for a nice place to go, this is a one we recommend. It's Colombian and Venezuelan cuisine, by the way. Really cool. They got like a little bakery in there too. We got some stuff there. And now we're going to Target. <laughs> so one of the only things we forgot when we packed was, <laughs> do you want to share with them how embarrassing? We forgot soap. <laughs> we're literally at Target having to buy soap. I've never bought soap in my life i don't think i've ever bought soap before because when i was in my parents house they always bought it and when i was 16 i started making it so i've never had an opportunity this is my first time buying soap wow. <laughs> schmitz has actually sent me stuff in the past and i really like them and i've seen a lot of people use native but this love beauty and the planet is so pretty i don't know i'm torn also they have a men's area and like cosmetics and stuff that we do not have in Texas at all, I'm pretty convinced. And it is so gorgeous to look at. It has kind of an apothecary look to it. Just the way they've put it together is so pretty. I love this. It's so prettily packaged. Again, this whole area is just so nice. Look at the packaging on these. Look at that. Okay, this is the soap we're gonna try because I cannot get over the packaging. It's rad. How many times have you said my name? I'm gonna guess 17. Mama, mama. 
Yes. Ooh, here it is unwrapped. It has this cool stamp on it. It says, Wealth of Man. Smells really good too. It is now day four. By the way, that soap that I used yesterday, I'm pretty convinced was a glycerin soap base. It was just a teensy bit drying, but it did smell good. We do not know which park we are going to today, but we know we are going to one of the parks because we have four day passes and we've already used up one day and we have three days left, so we have to go. Basically, we're just kind of trying to accommodate my parents because they have way more kids to wrangle and we're just letting them sort of lead us. So we'll see where we go. I'll show you my outfit that I'm wearing today. Here's my little OOTD. So these linen shorts, I bought from H&M. They were a quick buy. I'm pretty sure they were eight or nine dollars. I just needed a little something to get me through this trip because I didn't have any shorts um, for postpartum. And then this shirt is so cute. It's from Minnie and Meep and it says, you are my sunshine. Oh goodness. Someone's coughing down there. <laughs> and Will has one that says homegrown and it has carrots on it. And Lily has one that says homegrown and it has strawberries on it. So we all sort of match and it's so cute. And then I have my Princess Tiana pin that one of the members of the Royal Court sent me. I think it's just perfect. I have my little bar necklace on. I've got these sunglasses that I will be wearing. Yes. I've already been made fun of multiple times by my brothers, but they don't know fat like we do. These are from Urban Outfitters and then I got my hair up with two buns and I just secured them with lots of pins and then put two scrunchies on either side and those are also from Urban Outfitters. Also, I never really showed you guys our Airbnb. This is the master bedroom. It's a three bedroom, three bathroom Airbnb. It's sort of like a little condo and we've really enjoyed staying here. I'll leave you guys a link to Airbnb down below. This is the service that Caleb and I always, 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 always use whenever we go somewhere to stay because oftentimes they have rates that are just as good as hotels, but you can get like a way bigger place. Like our place has a full kitchen. It has a washer and a dryer. Again, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a living space. It's just so much more room. So if you have a small family or you just like to spread out, I mean, it's really, really great. I'm gonna pop downstairs now and get some breakfast with Lily. Take Will with me. He's all snuggled in this morning. My goodness, what a pretty boy he is. And I got this swaddle. It's my favorite one that he has. This is from Lulu Lollipop and it's so adorable. Little mushes, little gnomes on it. He loves it, don't you Will? We're at Animal Kingdom! Okay, so my parents ended up going back to Universal today and to SeaWorld, and neither of those places do Caleb and I have passes for. So we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and it is so cool already. We just walked in the front. There's foliage everywhere. I know Lily's gonna be so excited because animals are like her thing right now. Caleb looks like such a dad. He could not possibly look like more of a dad. You are 24. You did not have. <laughs> the I'm right, <laughs> the rights to dress like this. Got little man sleeping. He's got his cute little onesie on. Hello. <laughs> you ready to go see some animals? Yeah. Okay, so we're over in the Africa, like just past Asia into the Africa portion of the park. And we're looking at the tree in the middle of everything. It's so gigantic. It's so intricate and beautiful. This is where we're going to have our lunch today. Would you just look at this? I am going to include this in our little like montage of slow-mo at the end because it's absolutely unreal. Like the artistry with this tree is crazy. Also, pop quiz for you smarties. Are these lotuses or water lilies? You gotta tell me down below, lotuses or water lilies? Hey little monkey. Hide your banana. Yum. Yum yum. Now's the big moment. What are we getting? We're getting doll whips. Finally. Doll whip. Also, this lady is playing this music live over here. Okay, see what you think. It's amazing. Yay! How 
is it? It's really good. Great. Okay, so we are leaving the animal kingdom now and I'm feeding the baby real quick and we are thoroughly enjoying the air conditioning. And we also had to park, I'm pretty sure we are, yeah, we're two rows away from being the furthest parking lot away from the park entrance. Pretty sure we just walked like a mile and a half. Our kids were sleeping, lucky for us. And we just saw two little kids run in front of our car and they were chasing each other and laughing. Guys, it is 98 degrees Fahrenheit outside and those kids just walked for like a mile and a half and they were skipping and laughing. And if that is not a sign that Disney actually has magic here, I really don't know what is. And we have part hopped over to Epcot now. And because of the time that we're coming, their flower and garden festival is going on. So I'm definitely gonna take a look at that. We may get on one of the trains too and go back to Magic Kingdom. We haven't decided. We're just taking it easy, right, Caleb? Taking it easy, man. Caleb, what did you get? I got their blueberry vanilla uh, croissant donut, and this Ooh. is a berry mint julep tea. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. Oh, great. <laughs> And I should let y'all know, Caleb's pretty hard to please, kind of when it comes to food, so if he says it's really good, it's probably worth trying. Yeah, that icing is really rich, but it's not too much, it's not too sweet, it's just really good. All right. Tea. Mmm. Wow. That's amazing. It's like a blend of like lots and lots and lots of different flavors all in one, and the fact that it's frozen is really nice. So these two items are not just us. Well, excuse me. So these two items are not just us wanting to appreciate it so bad that we end up doing it. Uh, if you have the opportunity, you really should try these things because they are that good. parks and we are at Epcot. My family is about to meet us up. Look at the flowers in the background. It's the flower and garden festival like I said the other day. So they just have floral arrangements absolutely everywhere. It's super stunning and Caleb just got some great shots of us with the monorail in the background. So we're just gonna kind of walk around and chill out and wait for them, get some photos and I'm doing Instagram things so that we can do a giveaway for all of you guys whenever our soap video comes out that is inspired by our Disney trip. Where are we, Dad? Europe. Europe. More specifically, England. This was my favorite shop thus far. We'll see if something replaces it. We're in the shop in the Japan section of Epcot now and Caleb and I cannot stop like looking and touching everything. These are 3D Totoro puzzles and look at the backpack. I need it. Oh my gosh. 
I want this so bad. So bad. Come on, guys. Come on, ladies. Go ahead. Move over there. This is a ladies' picture. Oh, sure. Uh, Step over to the woman. Step over to the woman. Katie right after that last clip we flew home that was one of the best trips of my entire life it was pure magic also yes I'm literally in my closet right now it is like 1 a.m. Kenny and I have just finished filming a bunch of new videos for you guys our schedule is really really crazy he and I both worked like a 14 hour work day today and I'm still nursing a baby every three hours so needless to say we're pretty tired but we're being really really productive and I think you guys are really gonna be thrilled with the stuff that's coming out we don't typically do vlogs on the royalty soaps channel so be sure to let me know if you enjoy this if you liked looking into our little family vacation we are gonna make a soap inspired by Disney World that video is gonna be released next Wednesday so a week from today there will be a giveaway started then for a whole bunch of Disney loot that Kenny and I accumulated while at Disney World and if you'd like to enter a giveaway now you can go back to my previous video it is the hollow soap we're giving away one of Christine from simply nail logicals new hollow launch to be entered to win that all you have to do is comment on that video and subscribe so it's super easy you can enter that giveaway now and you can enter the Disney soap giveaway next Wednesday so anyways yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it I also don't typically edit vlog footage so I'm like really self-conscious about it I hope y'all all super love it because I love to travel so I'm always happy to put together little things like this when I go so if you want to see more be sure to let me know have an absolutely royal day and we will see you guys on Saturday for the next video Bye for now. Yeah.